I said be patient with this. I should have said be smarter. You know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't had a good old fashioned B episode where I admit that uh, my strategy in the previous episode didn't quite work. Well, that all changes right now because my trash strategy just simply didn't work. So why don't we get to fixing that? I've actually read through your comments. I have not commented yet on episode 51, but I know that you guys have some significant issues with the placement of my waste transfer facilities and uh, I do too. <laughs> they don't work. <laughs> They're not going to work. It doesn't matter what I do. So what I'm going to do is relocate some of these facilities and get the city moving. So the first thing I'm going to do is empty these two that I placed. They're not in a good place and we're going to move them. So uh, we're going to place probably about a half dozen uh, waste transfer facilities. The very first place I want to place one is in this industrial or this, uh, this office park district. Now, I think that this is going to resolve the issues that we have here. So we're going to do a number of unreasonable, unnatural things, level skyscrapers for the sake of trash collection, but we're going to play the game. And uh, that's what we have to do sometimes. So let's go in here. We're going to grab this. Put that right there. I think that's going to do the trick. We'll fill this and we'll allow this to, to add to our density. So a net positive for the area. Let's smooth this out. And then we'll make sure that that is running. That is number one. Next, I want to place one right in the middle of Sterling Estates. Now, I want to hide this a bit. And uh, what I was thinking is it might be nice to, to sneak this in behind the main drag. This is a good area except for the terrain. But we're going to take some liberties here. Uh, the other thing I'm going to take liberties on is the day-night cycle. There we go. We'll turn that off. So it'll be a little a little late in the day. And so I want to extend this road. We'll call the sacket out back here. And then what I'm going to do is level the terrain. We're going to get rid of these buildings. And I'll de-zone for the time being. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just smooth this out. We're going to make a spot for our facility. We'll place that right back here. Now, this has done some very ugly things to our terrain. So I'm going to do what I can to fix it. It's not going to be great. I might need to move this over just the scotch. There we go. That's better. And I want, to, I want this to, to somewhat blend. So I'm going to very carefully place the zoning up here. And then we'll add some zoning here just to act as a buffer in between this residential. Yeah, this is gonna work out very nicely. And then we need some landscaping to hide this, because this is ugly, very ugly. And then we'll get this thing running. So this is very ugly, but it's also very needed. So this will serve all of Sterling Estates. That's going to be great. Wonderful. So next up, we've got some empty spaces over here. And since we have uh, a waste processing complex, I think that we should continue to have other waste processing sorts of facilities. So I'm going to add two more recycling centers back here. And this will be a really major complex for actually taking care of business. So yeah, that's that, this is probably a, a better solution in this area. Next, we need to focus on the Space Center. We have had backups here. I think that's going to continue if we don't remedy this in some way. So what I'm thinking is we're going to go back here, extend out, and we'll add one more transfer facility to serve the Space Complex. We'll back that out a little ways, and then we'll make sure we get water pipes underneath the road where they belong, serving this facility. And we're once again going to need to screen this. I just want to make sure that when you're here, you don't really see it. Not any more than you have to anyway. Clearly it's not great having this next to the residential, but it'll, it'll have to do. So this is going to serve this area and I'm hoping it reaches all the way up over here. We'll have to check back at the end. So we're going to come back over to this facility and someone mentioned something that I thought was really a good point. So first, 
I didn't use the content creator pack trash facility and I just, I always forget about this one. So I wanna add this one in. So we're gonna call a mulligan on that waste transfer facility. We're gonna add this instead and that will open up the ability to do something else here in the future or just give a little bit of breathing room to this area. So I know that that previous facility was providing power. So we're gonna need to make a connection here. Yeah, that's nice. So this is good. Let's just take an inventory of where we're at. We still got problems. I think it's gonna get better. So I'm gonna turn this on to two uh, for our speed. So we're gonna go five times. And by the end of this episode, my goal is to have almost no trash collection issues. So we're over here now. And what I noticed is there's still one uh, incineration plant. I thought I got rid of all of those. So we're gonna get rid of this one. And in, in its place, we're gonna have a waste transfer facility. Now I know that this is close to these recycling centers. We've got a path there. We're gonna take advantage of that ability to, 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 to take that path with little issue. And hopefully that'll resolve the garbage issues here. So this will serve here in the Lewis uh, the, 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 and Lewis Shores and the Lewis Lumber Company. But I also want to, to think about over here a bit, and I think we have an opportunity. So what we're gonna do, just extend this out a bit. Again, we're gonna call the sack. And back here, we're going to include another waste transfer facility. Now the nice thing about this is it has access to Keller House and the highway. So we should be okay. I do wanna hide this again. Find some landscaping. It is not very attractive. But truthfully, nothing in this area is. It might be nice to make this look like a bit of a natural area. So there we go. Feels a bit overgrown. I like that. We have another opportunity to add a little bit of commercial back here, so why don't we? We'll use that to shield and block some of the views that we're gonna have back here. There we go, that, I like, I like the way this feels. This feels good to me. So there we go, got this hidden back there. It will do good work right over here. But we're not done, we are not done. So let's again, take a look at our trash. So this will serve this area. I think that'll resolve the issues that we have here. We've got major issues in the downtown area. We're going to have to find a way to fix this. So I've found an area where I think that we could place a garbage facility and take only a few buildings. And that's right here. So this is unfortunate to me. This is a very nice area, but it does provide access to downtown. So we are going to go right down here on Mulligan Avenue <laughs> and place it right here. So that does break our trail connection. So we're gonna need to fix that. There we go. And now we're gonna need some more landscaping along the back just to hide some of this ugliness from the trail. And now it'll feel like a forest when you walk past there. That's nice. So I, I don't know the, the reasonableness and the feasibility of going ahead and uh, you know, taking this kind of a, a liberty in the city, but I think we need it. So we're gonna do it. So the main reason that we're doing that is if we look in here, we have some significant garbage issues downtown and hopefully this will get some of these issues resolved. You already see things starting to lighten up. So that makes me feel Pretty good about what's happening here. All right, doing do we're doing good work. We're doing good work. All right, so next we need something that's going to cover this area. We're still having recurring issues, so there are two ways I want to attack this. First of all, when we had the helicopter depot over here, we we stubbed in this road. I think this is an, this is a good opportunity to get in here. We'll have freeway access, and it's land that's readily available. So out of all the places that we've We've added this. This is probably the best one. There we go. So this will have a wide coverage area. So that is good. And then there's one that I'm going to put that is probably going to cause some concern. 
So these lots right here are big. They're historic homes at this point. Yeah, and some of them are really attractive. Cute little homes, but, but we have city service needs and we're gonna take one of those or four, five of those homes, maybe six. <laughs> we're gonna put this right there. I thought about carving out a portion of one of the parks. It just, it's not, it's not something I'm, I'm comfortable doing. So instead of that, we're gonna add this back here and this will serve. We've got significant issues in this area and this will hopefully resolve those. We're gonna try to screen this as best we can. It's not gonna be great. But you know, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. And we need this. This is, this is, I think this is really key in helping us reach our goal because this will serve the entirety of Amarillo Shores and hopefully downtown between these two. And you see downtown is already in a much better place. We're almost completely blue. Holy cow. Just like that. So you guys were absolutely right in your, uh, in, in your thoughts about some of the issues I, I had. I just needed to spread out some of these facilities. What you can see is everything starts to look a little bit more reasonable, a little bit better. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about that. That's, that's what we needed to do. Spread things out a bit. And you see that our garbage problems are now a thing of the past. So I think we're, I think we're in a good spot. Oh, not this. Where I go Hills. I think it probably leaves us in a place where I'm fairly comfortable. The one other thing I wanted to take a look at, since we're in mulligan mode, I missed a couple of traffic things that we should take a look at. Junctions. So I missed these in the episode. I'll take care of those as well. And that should help resolve some of our traffic issues. We're in a good spot there. Um, I think that there are, are certainly other things that we could take care of. Uh, I saw a suggestion that it would be good to have a bypass road here. We might do that. We might do that. Just not, not quite your frontage road, rather. We, we're just not, uh, not at that spot right now. And you see, just a, a couple of little fixes like that makes all the difference in the world. Let's once more look through. Do we have any lingering trash collection issues? Like a building or two that has a, a little bit, some darker, darker blues. But you know what? We're good. So I want to thank you so much for joining me. I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.